So there's no question that uh, today our species, Homo sapiens, has a tremendous influence on the natural world around us. And a key question that archaeologists and paleontologists and paleoecologists can address is, is trying to better understand the history of our impacts on the natural world. So if we were to go back in time a few million years, um, the mega herbivore species on the landscape were considerably more diverse than what we have today. Uh, so Africa today, our mega herbivores include elephants, black and white rhinos, hippos, and giraffes. So there are five of them in total. Um, you go back a couple of million years and you might encounter 10 mega herbivore species living side by side by side. The diversity was incredible compared to what we see today. And for decades, people have been speculating that our early human ancestors, Homo erectus in particular, may have played a very substantial role in, in driving extinctions. And uh, yet nobody ever got around to testing those ideas in more detail. And so my colleagues and I, we set out to look at the issue of uh, African mega herbivore extinctions over the last several million years. So we uh, compiled a database of uh, fossil sites from East Africa spanning the last seven million years or so. And what we needed are well-dated fossil sites, so we can situate them in time, and, and species lists, uh, records of the animals that were present. And with that sort of data, we can look at uh, long-term trends in mega herbivore diversity, which allows us to pinpoint when uh, extinctions really start to take place and uh, better understand the, the timing of those extinctions. And what we showed is that mega herbivores, relatives of elephants and hippos and giraffes, they have been declining steadily for about four and a half million years. And in terms of, of how that relates to human evolutionary history, our species, Homo sapiens, we show up about 300,000 years ago. Homo erectus, who's long been blamed for driving extinctions of Africa's mega herbivores. Homo erectus shows up about 1.9 million years ago. So again, this is long after the mega herbivores start to decline. But instead, uh, that extinction process closely tracks a very well-documented phenomenon in eastern Africa, which is the expansion of grassland habitats. Classic open grasslands that we might picture if you envision the Serengeti today teeming with wildebeest and zebras and gazelles. You go back millions of years ago and, and those kinds of ecosystems did not exist. Trees and shrubs were a much more dominant part of the landscape, uh, but beginning you know, four million years ago or so, grasslands really started to expand. Um, many of the mega herbivores to go extinct are the species that don't eat grass. They ate the leaves most likely of trees and shrubs and probably lived in more densely wooded habitats. And as their habitats are contracting and grasslands are expanding, the mega herbivores were disappearing. You know, the key issue that we're trying to tackle is better understanding the history of our, our species or our lineage on the natural world around us. And at some point, there probably is a big tipping point where we have a, a, an outsized impact on the natural world. And trying to understand when that takes place and why, I think, does have some relevance to a lot of contemporary issues.